Well, of course, you guys are known for the blue lizard, which is sort of an iconic symbol of the island. So the blue lizard, I guess, it sort of embodies the spirit of resilience and transformation, and uh, and it makes people happy when they see it. And Aruba is the happy island. So I think that they picked that title because it was beautiful and it's connected to that iconic lizard that is native to Aruba. Uh, then I got connected with the Aruba Tourism Authority and Pacifista Films to, they were partnering together to create a documentary series that would transform um, the way that people saw Aruba by going far deeper into this reputation for being the happy island and enter into a bigger conversation about what it means to be happy in the 21st century. I think after COVID, a lot of people are asking themselves questions about what really makes them happy. You know, if, if the world can go into a pandemic all of a sudden, like people are like, I don't think happiness is just my job or, or just making money. Like happiness is family, nature, connection, love, all these other things, finding your passion. Like I think it, it creates a, an urgent, an urgency across the world that are uh, the mental health crisis and people like really trying to figure out what happiness is all about and I think when people travel I think rather than being tourists they can be travelers and I think travel is a great exercise in, in searching for happiness and so if people are going to be traveling somewhere they might as well travel to Aruba and if they're going to travel to Aruba they might as well travel with depth to really connect with people and, and engage with this subject matter of, of happiness. Um, si me lo me se piso un palabra, me lo piso orgulloso. Obviamente, pues sobre esta cualquier chance que mi hija para representar Aruba o hacer algo para Aruba, me da take it sin duda. Pero mi hija está mejor piso y ver a meter tu experiencia diferente para mí. Normalmente, mi tejis va a competir, mi te traina, mi te de un pool o algo así. Na anda wogi para mí me será graba, anda así. Esto es un hobby cool, esto es una experiencia hobby zuiver, y a mí me echt, echt, echt gusta con es, um, es series ahora ponida en otro, con es Elements, obviamente a mí de agua, um, esto es un hobby zuiver y orgulloso, y a mí de hobby excited, um, para salir el día 17 de abril, pues a mí de, de querer también estar hobby successful. No, no es diferente, pues, normalmente en entrevistas no te, no te pondrán cosas así, ¿no? pero esto es también leo, pues esto es durante un chance para mí de, de un otro banda de mi mes, entonces pienso, man, oh, pues ah, to, to, Well, it look at the punter that it doesn't make sense, that the club is a person a meter has a deport and the person a meter talk well tanto or than our person with a meter DCD the express army miss the manera a and busy other manera. The separate gunner and that the team beyond the difficult because Mr. Cot and the shooting over some of me that the piece of Jason and Jason wait, wait, wait. I mean, I need to think for a little bit because it's it's different, but oh, but oh, hobby lake, hobby lake. Well, I really love that uh, this project showcases Aruba in a different way and it focuses on the people and like why Aruba is so happy, so I find that really nice. And my part in the show I think is amazing that we got to showcase that there are people here in Aruba who are doing things to protect the oceans, to restore the oceans, and really try to uh, preserve what we have and make it better. Uh, well, if I could tell anybody anything uh, about the water especially, it's that we need to protect it and we need to do more to make sure that the activities that we're doing in the water, we're mindful of what kind of impact those have on the reef, the turtles. Uh, so they're there for us to enjoy, but we also have to make sure we respect and protect them. Just like Daxo said, we have to show respect to get respect. And so with the turtles and the corals, you know, be nice to them. Bom, eu não estou contente como ministro de turismo está aí presente na e pre-evento e lançamento de um série de documentário do Blue Lizard Effect, um documentário novo com o award do filme último Luna não aqui na Ruba com protagonista não local nos próprio rubiano não com um ator também hobby profissional de uma qualidade sumamente alto caminha nos está bem mostra aspecto não que portanto nós mesmo como local no saco nos tem essa aqui na Aruba, um documentário distinto, diferente, que ainda nós estamos focos em quatro temas, terra, aire, candela e também nos água, a água nos dá o privilégio para o primeiro documentário que está outra de água, que ainda é um documentário de 20 minutos, nós estamos em showcase Aruba, de uma maneira diferente, de uma maneira distinta, mostrando nos natureza, mostrando nos recursos, natural y también mostrando la felicidad que tiene, que está viva, arriba nos dice, no está propaganda 
Aruba como Aruba One Happy Island y por medio de documentario aquí de The Blues de Laser Effect nos va a showcase es aquí también de diferentes plataformas canal en renombrada manera HBO con entrante 17 de abril lo tiene cuatro documentarios que lo guardo lanzar oficialmente y lo seguro lo va a tener un impacto hopi, positivo para nuestro turismo camina nos está convencido que lo va a tener ese turista en el nuevo que no conoce Aruba